Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Jewelry and Jokes. Or welcome back if you've been here before. So, I am going to go through another Shop Goodwill lot tonight, but first I have to talk about some of the jewelry on the table. And when my video ended the other night, I had a bunch of jewelry on the table and I was thinking about going through it and giving some prices. Alright, but guys, it's been overwhelming for me lately with jewelry. <laughs> so, I'm just going to talk about it for a minute and then I'm going to take all this jewelry off the table and I will get into a new lot and I will go through this jewelry at some point and give you some prices. Actually I'll go through a, a little bit of it. So I'll show you some pieces here. Hold on a minute. I need to adjust my phone. Okay, so first of all guys, I am very disorganized. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I have boxes of jewelry in my living room. And if I showed them to you, you would be like, oh my gosh, you need some help. You would. You would feel very bad for me. So, I need to figure out what to do with it and the best way to sell it. I have lotted some things up and I do have tons of it on eBay, but I have more unlisted than I do listed. All right. So not that you guys needed to know that, but I've been having a hard time the past couple days and I just haven't recorded because of it. So wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have to close my door. I had my little heaters on. Okay, see, I'm over here on this side of the table now. Um, I had my heaters on, and I had to turn them off and turn the regular heat on because if I leave the heaters on, it's really loud. And you guys don't want to hear that. But I do have a blizzard on the, in the background, and I'm just glad I'm inside. Can you imagine being out in the blizzard right now? Or in the rain. And I always listen to the rain videos or blizzard videos. And then I think about how grateful I am that I'm sitting on my couch, not outside at night. And I feel bad for anybody that's outside in the cold or the rain or just outside at night at all. All right, so anyway, look at this stuff. I got all this. See all this stuff, guys? Look. This is what overwhelms me. I don't know if it overwhelms anybody else that sells jewelry, but this is my life right now. Look. Look at all this. And I don't know what to do with it. Unless I just spend every hour of the day listing this stuff. But then I have another problem. I don't know what to list half of it for. All right. That's the problem. So look. Oh, and also identifying jewelry. So I have this. Look at this bracelet. Okay. So I am assuming this is how light. Because... If it was turquoise, it would not be on this cheap wire. However, there are real pearls on here, and this is coral. And I looked at it up close, and you can see the striations. Wait a minute. Let me find one. Okay, you can see them. There are little lines. They're kind of hard to see. Now, could it be dyed coral? Sure. It could be. I'm not 100% sure. But look. Do you see a few lines there? Okay, so when I look at something like this, I'm not sure what that would sell for and I've looked online. I will Google things. 
I look on different websites. And sometimes with some of the jewelry, you'll see prices all over the place. But anyway, this is a cute bracelet. And then I have these beads, these gray ones. They're gray and white. And when you first look at them, it looks like they're peeling, but they're not. That's how they are. So I don't know what to do with that. So also, and I keep saying so, um, I don't know what I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? I don't know guys, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's what this does to me. <laughs> Look at it. All right, so then I have this. This is nice. That's the clasp. That is not silver though, but these are real pearls and they're nice. They're little seed pearls and they look like peacock pearls. And then I have this wire at the bottom, but the wire is not silver. And this pendant is abalone. It's kind of messed up, but there is that. And that's pretty. Would someone want that? I don't know. And I have something like this. These are really cute. They have an antiqued look to them. There's a little tiny spot on that faux pearl where it's peeling. But these have some nice little stones and they're clip-ons and they're cute. But I can't find any online like these. So would someone want them? I don't know, but I could list them. I did list them, but I can't remember where, whether it was Mercari or eBay. And I'll have to go back and check. So this is my rant, guys. I'm just ranting about my jewelry life. Then I have this bracelet. Look at this. This is adorable. Look at these fish. So these look like lamp work beads to me. And if I'm wrong, someone correct me, please. And these have little, um, like specks of color and some foil inside. That's what it looks like. And a silver tone clasp, and that's really pretty. I have looked all over for a bracelet like this because I was trying to price it, and there's nothing online anywhere like that. But it's really cute. And then I have this. This is Jasper. It's called Ibis Jasper. There's another name for it too. And this is a heart. It's a big stone. And then when I looked it up, it talked about the different properties of Jasper. And that's another thing that I'm wondering about. So all these websites talk about stones and their properties. And what they do for you. But I can't imagine like having to wear a stone to have a feeling. You know? Like to have vitality. To carry this stone around. Or wear another stone for calming. Or another stone for energy. Or another stone for creativity. Or another stone to be less anxious. That would make me anxious just trying to figure out which stone. You know? It's crazy. All right, then I have this necklace. Look at this. So this is made in Japan. It has Japan on it. Okay, but this is plastic. Look at the beads. These have little roses. Um, so they're not, I wouldn't say they're carved, but I guess they were put into a mold. So they came out, came out of the mold with a little 
rose design. That's my theory on that. But these are old. They're from Japan. They're old. But they're not high quality plastic. But that doesn't always mean anything. There could be a market for old Japan necklaces that look like roses, but I can't find a necklace like this online anywhere. So I have no idea how to price it. What are your thoughts? Do you guys have any thoughts on that? And then I have this necklace. This is real pretty. This one is a vintage Roman necklace. So it's RMN. That's how they sign their jewelry. And this is crystals. These are all crystals. And I just listed this online, but I can't remember what I listed it for. I think I listed it for 40. And I know that sounds really high, but some of those Roman necklaces go for a lot. There's the back. It's really nice. This is a gunmetal. And these are all crystals. But I can't find this exact necklace anywhere. But look how pretty. So I have that. Then I have this. This is something pearls. Swirly pearls, I think. Swirly pearls, yeah. This is really cute. There's a little tiny bit of tone loss. I know there's not. Never mind. It was the orange bead. Or this um, copper color bead. See? <laughs> it made a mark on the metal. So it made me think it was worn, but it's not. So... This is a really nice bracelet, and I have to look this up, which I have not done yet. I have so many things here, guys, that I haven't looked up. But that's a really nice bracelet. You would think somebody would want that. Would you guys like that? Does anyone like swirly pearls, or have you heard of swirly pearls? It's really pretty. So I have that. And then... What else? Oh, I have these glass pearls, and these are a nice brown. And it has a, uh, what do you call this clasp? I forget what you call this clasp. Is that a box clasp? I can't remember. I'll have to look that up. But these are really nice faux pearls, and they're glass. And that's another thing. I'll see pearls online that are glass for all different prices. But these are unmarked. So, not sure what I would sell it for. And I know I keep talking about the prices, guys. But I'm just ranting a little bit. I just need to rant. I need to vent a little. And then I will get into the new lot. But I just wanted to show you some of this stuff. Okay, so then I have these. Look at these. So these are plastic, but they're really cool. They look like some kind of gemstone or gemstones. And they're, they're just plastic. So I'm wondering if this is something that would be best in a big lot of vintage plastic jewelry. Or do you think somebody would actually buy this as it is? You know, so for all of you out there that sell jewelry, what do you think? Do you have any suggestions? Then I have this. I got this in one of the last few lots. And this looks like a handmade piece. These are ceramic. So somebody, um, I guess painted these and then they put them in a kiln. That's what it looks like. So it's pottery. So it's a pottery necklace with some wooden beads on 
this string. But something like this is not easy to find and not easy to price because what I'm thinking is the only person that would probably buy this is the person that made it. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. Is there a market for pottery necklaces? I don't know. I'll have to check that out. But guys, I have been going through my jewelry the past couple days. And this is why I have not recorded. Because I've been doing the same thing that I'm talking to you about all day for the past few days. Oh, look. Then I have this. This is really interesting. So this looks like it's a Tibetan bracelet. And this is brass with some coral chips. Look how pretty that is. The back has a little bit of um, darkening or a little bit of tone loss, I guess I, I could say that, tone loss. Um, it has a lobster clasp, so it's not really old, but it's really unique. So... I look at this and I look at the workmanship and the little coral chips and it looks nice to me, but I'm at a loss as far as pricing for this. Maybe I should just auction everything, you know, I could just put everything on eBay and start it all out at a dollar, but then if the right people don't see it, it will sell for a dollar and that's not my goal so if I only have a couple people looking at it or one person then that's not a good thing all right then I have this this is sterling and these are little um seed pearls peacock pearls and that's really pretty and it's small though but I don't know what to list that for. So it's a guessing game. Then I have these, these are Trafari, Crown Trafari. They're gold tone with these black cabochons. They're cute. But Trafari prices are all over the place too. And then I have something like this. Look, I have these beads. Oh, one second, okay. I have these beads and they are wood. So, but they're kind of neat. They're carved. But I look at this and I think, is this something that I would just throw in the joke box? Or is this something I would put into a lot? I don't think it should go in the joke box because it's interesting. But are there people out there looking for carved wooden bead necklaces? I don't know. So then it sits here in a box with about a thousand pounds of other pieces. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And then I have this necklace. I love this one. This is J. Crow. I think. Wait. Yeah, it's J. Crow. And this has a um, really soft gold tone to it. It's really pretty. And it has these acrylic white or off-white faceted um, faux stones, I guess you would say. And here's the back. Isn't that cute? I love that gold. That gold looks like real gold to me. That's why I love their jewelry because the quality is so good. And that's a great necklace. And you would think somebody would snatch that up online, right? So I don't know. 
I don't know, guys. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to tell you that I've been having a hard time. <laughs> oh, I have this necklace. This is fluorite. I got this in one of the last few lots. And that's a big fluorite rock or stone. It's different. So... So it's the kind of stuff I get. But if someone wants it, you can have it for $10. Um, what else? What else? Oh, then I have this. And this is really pretty. So these are all glass. Look at these beads. They're all blue glass beads. This is on a sterling. Well, not sterling chain. This has a sterling clasp. I do not know how to price this. So it sits just like everything else. Oh, look, I didn't even know that those beads had eyes on them. Do you see the eye? That's pretty wild. All right, then I have this. And then I think, should I put this in a box of jewelry that I'm going to auction because these are glass but this is a vintage necklace the only problem is when I open the clasp it stays open but when I close it it closes fine it just doesn't have like a spring on it I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or not but look at those beads aren't they neat Then there's the problem of finding the right words when I list my items. All right, then I have this. So this almost went into the joke box because these strings right here look a little faded. But it has this little crystal so I'm not sure if this is a brand. Oh, wait. Wait, does that have a number on it? Oh, no. All right, so this has brass and silver tone beads. And then I look at that and I think, does anybody wear this kind of thing? Would someone want it? I don't know. So this is what I've been dealing with, guys. Oh, wait. Then I have this one. Hold on a second. All right. So this looks really old. So look, this looks like twine. And then I have these other strings here. I'm not sure what that is. But it looks like it's wrapped with... Um, maybe leather or pleather, <laughs> but this looks like leather. And then it has these little beads here and you just pull it like that. But something like that could have some value to someone. Or it could be something that needs to be put in the joke box. I don't know, because I can't find anything like it online anywhere. Nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere. Uh, trying to see what else I have here. Oh, then I have this necklace. Hold on, it's stuck on this pendant. I don't want to break it. Give me a second. That's not good. Okay, I got it. So this one is a napier necklace. Look how pretty that is. Or napier. Napier, napier, I don't know. This is a choker. And these are black crystal beads. 
They have some coating on them and spots you can see it's a little bit worn. But that's pretty. I have so many things like that. I have a whole box full of crystal necklaces. But I haven't listed them. I've list listed a few. Okay, then I have this. So this is really unusual. And look at this. Um, um, what do you call it? The chain. So I'm not sure what these are. These look like Mother of Pearl, actually. And I'm not sure about these. Maybe they're... I don't know. What do you think? Shell? Something? Or, wait. Are these buttons? Oh, no, they're buttons. <laughs> okay, so this has buttons on it. But this looks really old. But all right, I'll show you guys something. So, I looked at that chain. Ow. I'm just hurt myself. Hold on, guys. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. I'm just trying to bed. And then, um, I will get into the new lot. So don't click out of the video. Just look at the jewelry for a second. I want to show you something. I got this jewelry book. That's another thing. If you guys know of any good costume jewelry books that I should get, please tell me because I just got this one. And... It's kind of ridiculous because some of the prices this lady has in here are really high. Like, look, I'm going to show you this. <laughs> All right, look at this necklace. I have a necklace just like that. And it's not marked, but it's Avon, right? So then she says here, single strand of butterscotch plastic beads strung on a string of a matching color. Imitates glass. 1940s to 50s. Unsigned. 70 to $100. Okay, so the, the Avon necklace I have, it's not even worth 20 And I think this is that necklace. So how, how did she come up with that? This is the book. Costume Jewelry, 20th Century Costume Jewelry by Rana Lee Akins. All right, but I have to show you that necklace. So please stay. And it's really hard sometimes, guys, talking to you because you're not answering me. You're talking back, so then I feel like I have to keep talking, but I'm not talking to anybody. But I am talking to you, but you can't answer. All right, I'm going to get there. Give me a second. I just have to find this necklace. It's here somewhere. Where is it? There are some pieces in this book, guys, that look so cheap. And she has them priced for a lot of money. Hold on. I just messed up my TV. Hold on. Let me get back to my blizzard. I'm going to get a commercial. Hold on. All right. I'm still looking. Where is that necklace? Thanks for being patient, guys. Oh, wait. I'm going to show you something. Okay, look. So, I have a bunch of necklaces like this. I'll get to that necklace, but I want to show you this. All right. See this crystal necklace? She says it's $130 to $180. Then there's a couple here. I have a ton of these. Then there's that one with three strands. Unsigned. 150 to 200. There are AB crystals. How is that possible? Because I see them online. And 
People have them listed for a lot less than that. All right, I'm going to find this necklace. Where was that? Hold on, hold on. I just saw it. All right, guys. Maybe I should pause it so you don't sit here staring at the jewelry too long and wind up clicking out. Okay, I'm pausing it for a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. All right, so look. Okay, so see that chain there? I have a necklace very much like that, but without the seed beads. But look, they have this for 80 to 130. So then when I look at this kind of chain, it reminds me of it. So then, I don't know. And I question myself. All right, then I have this here. I gotta show you this. Hold on, let me find it. Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, I had it marked. And I took the paper out of the book. But I'll find it. Give me a second. Where is oh, Here it is. Okay, so look. I have this brooch. So this says late 1950s to mid 60s. 120 to 150. That is not even silver. I had this listed a while ago and I didn't even sell it. It didn't sell. So they're saying here, or she is saying, it's 120 to 150 for that. So please explain that. If anybody knows jewelry here, or sells it. What are, your, what are your thoughts? And then this. Look at these. This Avon pin right here. That tray. She has it listed for $40 to $80. Not listed, but she says here on this page. $40 to $80. Gold electroplated bows. Have centers of AB stones. $40 to $80. Have you guys seen this? sell for 40 to 80. So I question this book. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Ronna Lee Aikens. All right, anyway. Maybe I'll just put all this jewelry away and bring it back out for another day and I'll get into the jewelry that I did get that you haven't seen. But I wanna show you that real quick. So look at this, this is old and these are plastic. But I researched this, I can't find it anywhere online but it's interesting to me. Have you guys ever seen a necklace like that one. This looks like something I'd see in a costume jewelry book. But it sits here. It just sits. Oh, and then there's this. And I don't know what to do with this yet. I have had some interest in this from viewers. These look like prunes. I've researched this plastic. I can't find anything anywhere online that even remotely looks like this type of plastic. It's really dense. It's not acrylic. From what I understand, because there are seams and acrylic beads typically don't have any seams. The seams are really thin, they're hard to see, but they're there. These are heavy. They are heavy like Bakelite would be. They're not Bakelite. And again, they're not acrylic and they're not Lucite. 
So what are these? Look at that. There's the pink one. Here's the prune. It's really cool. I love this. I've never seen anything like it though. So, I'm still trying to figure it out. All right, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, then I have this little bracelet. And this looks like it would fit a child because this band is small, so let me see. Yeah, see, it doesn't even go all the way around my wrist and my wrist is not big. But this is gold plated. This says, I think it says 1420. So it's 14 karat gold plated. Yeah. It's hard to see it. And there's the ring. There's nothing on there. These are crystals. It has this anchor and there's the back. It's really cute, but it's extremely small. So that would fit like, a, I don't know, preteen. But I can't find anything like it online anywhere. All right, guys, so I will spare you and stop here and I will start the next lot. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I could show you. Oh, this is a beautiful necklace right here. I will give a price for this. Okay, so this is listed as $65. Not listed, but it has a price for $65. This one has some halite crystals. Druzy stones, druzy quartz. I guess that's just glass, I don't know. Um, and it's a gold tone, it's really long. And this one is White House Black Market. This is a really nice necklace. And it still has the tag. And I Listed this online. I think I listed it for 45, but I'm, I'm not sure. I have to check. But if anybody here would like this necklace, I can do it for um, I will say 35. Here, I'll lay it out and you can see it. So that's $30 less than what the tag says. But wait till you see it. The other cool thing about it is, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to say 40 because let me show you what it does. All right, so 40 on this. All right, so look. Okay, that's what it looks like laid out. But you can wear this together or you can take this chain off. See how it has these? three lobster claws, you can take these off and it becomes two separate necklaces. So not only do you have this necklace that you could wear as one, you can take them apart and you have two. And it's in perfect condition. All right guys. So I guess I'm gonna end it here, and not really end it, I'm going to pause. I'll get the other jewelry out, 
I can't remember what is there. I know one thing that's in there because I was shocked when I found it. But I will clear out the table and get my other jewelry out. And then we'll get into it. <laughs> I just had to talk to you about my jewelry issues. I don't know if anybody can relate. But it's therapeutic to talk about it. All right, guys, I'm going to stop now. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And it's actually a day later because I couldn't get back to my video last night. So I am starting again for the second part of part one. <laughs> so you'll notice I have a different mug. But I'm taking a drink of my seltzer. I have black cherry plus my coffee. Okay, guys. So, I pulled the jewelry out and put it on the table. Some of it's still in bags. But first, I will show you the pieces that are not so great. There's a random bead. It went with a necklace that's really messed up. So I already threw that in the joke box, but it's just beads that came apart. So, well, the necklace came apart and the beads are loose and they're not good. Okay, so I'll show you these. And I probably won't give prices for this part of the video, guys, because this is all vintage jewelry. I might give a couple prices, but I really have to research this and it will take me a while. So if you see something you like, just um, send me an email, okay? And I'll give you more information about it and hopefully a price right away. All right. So first I have these. And thanks for sitting through that if you guys sat through the first part of this video because I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I do and what I go through. <laughs> okay, so these are really cool earrings but they're missing some of the coating and some of the pearls and they're not marked. So what I'm going to do with these is just keep them because I may be able to use these blue stones. They are kind of cute. And they look like they were supposed to be some kind of a berry. Like a cross between a berry and a heart. So there's that. All right, then I have this. And I'm not sure about this metal. Look at this metal. It has like a matte finish. That's just really strange to me. It's not signed. I don't think I've ever seen a brooch made with this kind of metal. I don't know if this would be considered pot metal. Have you guys ever heard of that? If you have and it is, let me know. Um, but it's missing a bunch of stones. Unless it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. It's either supposed to be like that or it's missing every single stone. Aside from the big ones. Let me know if you've ever seen a brooch like this. Kind of cool. And I wonder if these stones are glass. Hold on, I'm going to check. Yeah, they are glass. The middle one is, anyway. I don't know about the other ones. Yeah, they're glass, too. They just look a little darker. Alright. So there's that. And this one... 
I did look at and it's marked guess. When I first saw it, I thought it was much older, but actually this could be pretty old because guess was around in the eighties. So it could be from the eighties. I will have to look it up, but look at that stone there. That's cute for the bead. And that's acrylic. Um, the chain has a lot of wear, but I'm not sure what this was for, because look, it opens. I don't know what you would do with that, what you would put in there. It's pretty interesting, though. Look. It says guess. Pretty neat. It's not really long. I am going to look this up though to see what I can find out about it. The key doesn't come out either. But it's just interesting that it has this clip here. What would you put in there? I don't know. Then I have this. Now, this one has a really old clasp. Or I'm assuming it's pretty old. It is not marked. So I don't see anything on there. Um, but the pearls are not in good shape. They're really discolored. Some have like a blue tinge to them. And these are glass. They are hand knotted, but I could salvage the clasp and use it for something else because it's really pretty. So there's that. So that was not great. And I have this and I'm keeping this for the stones. It has a lot of, um, of like this coating loss on the back, but it has these red AB stones. So I will use them, possibly, it just depends. I may have something that's missing one of these, but I try to keep broken jewelry for parts that I can reuse. And this doesn't have a mark or anything. All right guys, I forgot to mention that I got this lot right before I went to Florida and I didn't open it because someone that was with us on the trip, I wanted to um, go through the jewelry with. She's never seen a big lot. Not that this is a big lot, but to her it was. And I showed her the jewelry, um, but I still need to go through it and research it. I don't remember all of what is here, but there is one piece here that I was really excited about. So that's why it's here on the table and that's why I didn't open the box because it was already opened. All right, so I'll show you this one. This is coming apart. Uh, this is another one that's not so great. Uh, all right, so this was attached earlier. Hold on. It's really neat. But this little um, jump ring should be attached to this piece, I think. Wait. Oh no, up here. This little wire here connects to this piece. But look at these roses. Isn't that awesome? So there's one there and one here. And this has some blue beads and little like faux crystals. It's just kind of a cute necklace. It's not that old though because it has a lobster clasp. 
So I am just going to put this aside, but I wanted to show it to you. Hold on. So it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> so there it is. It's not signed or anything. Alright, then I have the circle pin. Well, somewhat like a circle, not really a circle. But it's just a gold tone brooch. And it has some mesh here. Um, it's not marked. It's too bad it's not real gold. That would be great. You know what? I didn't look at it too closely though. But I don't think it is. Because I can see some little nicks in it. Oh yeah, so you can see it there. So, it's not horrible. But it's not marked, and I'll look it up and see what kind of value this would have. It's kind of pretty. Alright, then I got this necklace. This is really nice. So this one's actually a loft necklace and it has a big spring ring and a silver tone chain and it has some like faux crystal beads. I don't even think these are glass. Hold on, let me check it. No, actually they're going up to glass. Maybe they are crystals. Hold on. Yeah, they're going to glass. Okay. The faux pearls. They feel like glass, but they're not going up to glass. Yeah, so they are acrylic beads. Hold on, I'm just checking these crystals again. Actually, no, they aren't going to glass. Why was it moving? Now it's not. Now this one's moving. That's weird. I don't know, guys. It might be my gem tester. But this is a pretty necklace. It has several strands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like eleven strands. And they have some silver tone spacer beads and gold tone spacer beads. I'm gonna lay this out. It's really pretty. I don't know how old this one is. It's in really good shape though. I don't see any wear on that at all. That's a really nice one. So, there it is. And I have this one. This is an older necklace. And these are acrylic. These are pretty. They're an off-white, but they have like a buttery tone to them and it has this gold tone chain and a shepherd's hook but this one is not marked it's in excellent condition though look at that that is a nice necklace I will measure it real quick All right, so this one is about 15 inches and that has a three inch, oh wait, uh, about two and a half inch extender. So I think this one's beautiful. The beads are really, really nice. 
Um, I'm trying to think of a price for that one, guys. I know I said I wouldn't give many prices, but I don't know. I'm just going to look it up. It's not going to be a lot. All right, then this strand is really long. This one's Marvella. Ooh, forgot about that. So I am not sure how old this is. But these beads are in good shape. This is really long. It's really nice. It has one, two, six strands. That's a good one. So I'm going to have to do some research on that. And I don't think these are glass, but I will check. Yeah, no, they are acrylic. All right, and I have this one. And this has a gold tone chain. And the shepherd's hook needs to be replaced. Because the other... Pieces. These bindings here do not have any wear. And the chain doesn't have any wear. But the shepherd's hook does. Oh, it has some tone loss. So this has two strands. This is a short one. So that's like a choker style. That's really cute. And it is about 11 and a half inches. And the extender is about two and a quarter. So that one's really pretty too. I don't see anything on the back of that. Hold on. something it looks like it might say something hold on guys I'm just gonna double check I could swear it says something but no actually it doesn't All right, on to the next. So then I have a single strand here. These are hand knotted. And this has an old clasp. And that doesn't say anything. So I have no way to know who the designer is. But these are nice. But they're acrylic also. There's a little bit of tone loss around the outside of this, so. That's not great, but uh, faux pearls are in good shape. Alright, then I have this one. That's an interesting clasp. I think that's acrylic. Yeah, it's acrylic. So it's open in the back. I don't see any name on this one either. I'm not sure what decade this is from, but this one has some um, white colored pearls. 
kind of doesn't seem to go together too well. It's a cool clasp. And I think these are acrylic too. Sometimes, you guys, I think something's acrylic and it winds up being glass. That's why I check it. Because sometimes I don't feel cold too much in my fingers. It's weird. Alright, so anyway, there's that. Wait, let me see. Yeah, there's nothing on here. Alright, then I have this strand. So this one has an old clasp as well. It just hooks into the bead or slides in. There's nothing on there either. And these are hand knotted. It's still a bit colder. But nope, they're acrylic as well. And I'll tell you how long this one is. That one's about um, 25 inches. It's not the greatest. Alright, so I'll pull some of this out. Alright guys, so I'll show you why I got this lot to begin with. So I saw this necklace and I thought it was interesting. It's copper. It's really pretty. And there is a designer that made copper necklaces um, back in like the 70s and even before, but he's really well known and I cannot remember his name and I have a necklace by him. <laughs> so I have to go back and try to figure it out. I had the necklace in one of my videos. But anyway, this is really pretty. But I have to research this one. And it says solid copper back here. I just thought that was pretty. There were some other things in the lot I liked too, but when you look at pictures on Shop Goodwill, you don't see everything. So this is why I got the lot initially. And I only paid like I don't know, it was under $50 with shipping for the whole thing. All right, then I have this necklace. This is really pretty. So this one has a gold chain. It's like really slinky. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of chain this is. I will have to research it. I've seen this type of a chain before, but I don't know the name of it. So, it's a gold tone and it has this acrylic black centerpiece with some clear stones. And I'll check the stones. Okay, the stones are glass. Wait, hold on. I don't th I think my gem tester's not working right. Cause these feel cold, but the needle's not moving much. They aren't, they're not going to glass now. Oh wait, now it is. All right guys, I might have to recalibrate it. Sorry about that. Anyway, here's the back. And there's nothing on the clasp. And there's the inside. There is no wear to this necklace. It's in really good shape. And I'll tell you how long it is. So it's about 16 inches. All right, so there's that. And I have this piece, look at this. This is an awesome brooch. All right, so I am not sure what type of plastic this is. 
but it is gorgeous. It's definitely an old piece. Here's the back. It's not marked, so I do not know who made this one. Isn't that pretty? And I'll tell you how long it is. It's about... Hmm... About three and a quarter inches. That is so neat. It's really light. I'm wondering... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say lucite, but I don't think it's lucite. It's just light like that. So if anybody knows what this could possibly be made of, let me know. And it's not cold. It's not glass. All right, so there's that. I'm going to have some earrings. I'll save the earrings. Oh, wait. I have a necklace here. I have a pin. I forgot that was in here. Alright, so here's a necklace. This is really pretty. It has some little pearls or faux pearls and some roses. And it's a gold tone. Here's the back. This back reminds me of 1928. I wonder if this is. Wait a yeah, it is. Okay. So that's a nice piece. I wonder if this was one of their early pieces. That's pretty. So this has a gold tone chain with some faux pearls. That is really cute. And I'll tell you how long this one is. I was excited, guys, when I got this lot. I did not realize a lot of this was older. This one's not, but there are some pretty old pieces here. Um, that one's about a little over 20 inches. But it doesn't have an extender or anything. All right, so there's that. Very cute. And I have these earrings. That looks like thermoset. These are pretty. A light pink and gold tone, but they aren't marked. They have to be clean, too. That kind of looks like a crocus. I don't know, I'm going to have to look these up. All right, then I have this pin or brooch. This one's cute. It's just intertwined loops. And that one says Monet. That's a nice one. And it doesn't have any tone loss. It's really pretty. And that one is about two inches. And I have this brooch, and this has some gold stone. That's a nice one, too. I don't see a mark on this one. But that is dainty, and it's pretty. And it's not real big. Let me just... I know I said dainty. Of course, it's not big. Um, It's just a little over an inch. So it's, well, it's about one and one quarter inches. So that one's cute. And I have this pair of earrings. These say something, but aren't they cool? Mm, these feel 
kind of cold. Let me see if they're glass or not. Yeah, these are going up the glass, so that looks like it's milk glass. And the black stone is going to glass, too. All right, so this one says California Lewis. Is that Seagull? Yeah, Lewis Seagull. Never heard of him. Oh my gosh. Come on. Why is it blurry now? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, so these are really cool. They're dangly. They have that gold tone bar. And there's the inside. Uh, it looks like it says something on the inside, too. Hold on, I'm going to look at that. The inside says... Oh, it has a patent number. So it has a patent number for the clasp. That is pretty cool. Have you guys heard of Louis Seagal earrings? All right, then I have this. This is adorable. So this is just a little bug. Um, it is not branded, but the wings move. And it has some rhinestones. That one's really cute too. They're on the springs. Alright, so I have that. And I have this clown. He's missing a stone. Actually, he's missing two stones. But I'm sure I have replacement stones for that. And that one is not marked. But he's kind of fun. And the gold tone is nice. There's no wear to that either. All right, then I have these. I do remember looking at these, because look. These are, it says it somewhere. Joan Rivers. Guys, I was so excited to get these. But I did look them up and I cannot find another pair like this. So I'm guessing these are a rare pair of Joan Rivers earrings. And I'm going to check the clear stone. Okay, so the center stone is testing as glass. But these are awesome. Oh wait, oh my gosh, it is missing one little stone. Uh, man. Alright, I'm going to have to find one. Oh, that's a shame. Why didn't I see that before? Oh, wait, it's missing two. I did not see that. You know, that figures. All right, and then I have this watering can. And this is not marked. It's kind of cute. It needs to be cleaned. So there's that one, um, but I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Actually, I'll show you this one, and then I'll end it, but I have another bag, and I'll just show you the bag real quick. Um, but this is really neat. So I did look up this bracelet, and I saw a necklace online with this exact clasp, and it was pretty old. I can't remember what decade. Um... But they had it listed for two fifty, which I thought was really high. However, it was in better shape than this. See, some of these beads have tone loss. But this is a vintage clasp. It isn't marked, though. Well, it does say Pat Penned on the back, but it's really hard to read. This is really dirty. I've got to clean it. 
but with my loop, I can see it um, written in the middle. So there's that one. And here is the bag of the remaining jewelry. And there are some really interesting pieces in there. So what I'm going to do is end it here because it's probably pretty long already. And I've got to go to bed. <laughs> um, but I will do a part two. And I am going to combine this jewelry with some pearl jewelry I just got from Shop Goodwill. It's not like real pearls. But there are some neat pieces in that as well. And I already opened that one. So I will do that in the next video. Alright guys. So thanks for watching. Um, oh I have this pin too. I forgot to show you this one. It's just a little filigree flower brooch. But it has some tone loss. And it's not marked. Alright so there's that. Um. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will get to part two really soon. I'm going to try to do it tomorrow at some point. All right, guys, you have a good day or night whenever you're watching this. And if you want to order anything, here's my email. Oh, here. Whalefarm4adaywild.com. And sorry I didn't get prices on some of this. But just email me with any questions. And I'll give a price um, for anything that you're interested in. Okay? Alright, and sorry my video was a little different than normal. Um, it just turned out that way. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you in part two. See ya, bye.